Well, time now on the program to talk water skiing. And joining us in the studio is a young lady with loads of talent. In fact, she was labelled the 2010 Female Water Skier of the Year. And this young lady from Sylvania Waters in New South Wales will soon be taking on the world in that chosen discipline. Uh, Kelsey Ferris, thanks very much for joining us here in Thank the studio. You. Look, being named Female Water Skier of the Year in 2010, that must have been a, a huge honour for you. Yeah, it was, especially being a junior with Jack. Both got female skier of the year and male skier of the year as juniors, so it was good. What does it mean to you to be able to achieve that goal, considering how much work you put in, you know, in training and things like that? Yeah, last year was a lot, and the year before we missed out on the team, and, and to come back and then do a full season with all the races and stuff, it was good to get some stuff out of it, some achievements. Well, let's talk about uh, qualifying for the world titles. How did that go for you? Yeah, good. The first race was real good. We went lead from start to end. And then the second race, we had a bit of a bad moment. We ended up in fourth, but then we picked it up after that and got first and second for the rest of them. A great result, a good, yeah. good, good position to be in. What sort of training do you do? I mean, obviously water skiing, you have to be super, super fit. And when we yeah. spoke to Jack, his <laughs> training regime was just enormous. Yeah. What's it like for you? Well, it's, it's tough. It's, I'm training with a trainer called Craig Burton and he's in, he moved from City Gym to a gym at Fox Studios and it's got this escalator and it goes down you walk up the, up the escalator and it's just, and he puts you on it for minutes or whatever and it's so hard. So I go to the gym four times a week and on water twice. So you're the Stairmaster King, <laughs> something to aspire to. <laughs> t tell us, t give us a, a day that you are training and you've got school on, what does your day consist of? Well I'm doing pathway so I'm doing year 12 over two years. So I'm usually at school around like 11 till 2 or something. So I'll go to the gym in the morning, go to school, and then sometimes I might work on, on some days and then at night, and then some other nights we'll go skiing or something. I want to talk about the world titles with you, obviously, because that's yeah. just around the corner now. But before we do, I want to talk about this <laughs> marathon skiing. You were racing a plank of wood at one stage. How does this work? <laughs> well, I've got, um, I think, five Australian titles on it and it's six laps so the first one's on a single a uh, single ski, second one's double skis, the third one's just a ski with no fin and then double skis with no fins and then a freeboard which is like a normal ski with a bit of sanding and no bindings and then the last lap is just a paling like a long piece of wood skinny. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you survive that one? I don't know, it's tough. <laughs> and and the, what's the object of a marathon like that? Why Why do they bring that into the sport? Is it a bit of fun or is it it's very fun. competitive? It's just fun. It's, it's just fun. Yeah, well, the, the key is you can't, like, you go quick on the skis, but it matters in the changeover. Like, you've got to, the boat's got to stop and drag. They throw out a ski and drag you to the ski and you got to dump your ski and if the boat's going too quick, you might miss your ski or you try and pick it up as it's still going. It's just, sounds, it's fun. Sounds <laughs> awesome. Well, hopefully the world titles are going to be just as exciting. What would it mean to you to be able to take out the worlds? Oh, it would mean so, like the effort and the amount of training and everything and what mum and dad have put in and everyone's put in, it would be amazing. What about the competition at the World Titans? Who's going to be your main rivals? Well, there's world champion from last time that's still in it, Yolene from Belgium. Mm. She'll be tough. And the other Australian girl, she's, we were close in the, all the selections and she'll be interesting, she'll be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a big crowd up there too. Yeah. Um, do you feel much pressure going into this? Yeah, no, kind of. <laughs> In what the, way? What, what mum and dad have put in and what everyone's put in and I just want to come out with a win hopefully but what everyone's put in I hope I'd make them happy. <laughs> is that the only pressure? That the pressure from external or is there a, well, a driving force within you? Yeah I want to do well, I want to succeed, I want to, yeah. <laughs> Why water skiing for you? What, what is it about water ski racing that, that appeals to you so much and, and forces <laughs> you to do these extraordinary hours every day? <laughs> it's just fun, it's you get along with other people like your enemies on the water but your friends off the water and and mum and dad, they were in it, and it's just fun. <laughs> so what sort of top speed are you doing? Oh, the rivers, it's about 90, 100. Depending. And that's fun. That's, <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> it's tough at times, but it's fun. Now, the location for the world titles here in Australia. Uh, first of all, 
on home soil or water as it may be, yeah. is that a benefit? It is. It's like Botany Bay. We live on Botany Bay and Moreton Bay is kind of the same conditions, kind of open and stuff. So what we train on is really similar to what they'll be on. So. And they're saying it's going to be pretty rough there. So that Botany Bay training, is it going to be an advantage to you? How do you go on the rough conditions? Yeah, good. The, um, we had a Botany Bay race, or a selection race, and that was crazy rough. That was up to my hips. Up, you know, it, was, it was so rough and it was so much fun. So I hope it's like that. <laughs> Finally, how do you think you're going to go? Are you going to take out the win? hope so. <laughs> well, thanks very much for coming in and Thank joining you. us. And thanks to your teachers too for allowing <laughs> a little bit of time off school to come and have a chat. There you go. Well, that's water ski racing. Now we're going to talk about racing of a different kind. And Kevin Estry has his first season in the Porsche Super Cup. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be a very interesting year for him. He's got that 450 horsepower Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car. And the Frenchman secured his first pole position at round seven at the Hungaro Ring. This is... Uh, one of the quickest times around this circuit of all. In fact, he was quicker than Sean Edwards' lap record, who took out the Barcelona round by 0.04 of a second. But how did he go under race conditions? Well, let's go to the vision and find out.